Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Friends, in today's episode, we are going to start a new series on Avdhut Gita. Avdhut Gita was written by Sri Dr. Deji Maharaj. And this Gita is more complex than Srimad Bhagavad Gita and other Gitas. It is meant for the serious sadhaks, serious people. It has nothing which is entertaining. And it contains so many sutras. If its meaning is understood, is grasped, if the meaning of any one or two sutras are grasped well, then it can open the door for you. And you can experience altogether a new version of life. It is not, not meant for those people who want something else other than the real understanding of what life is, what existence is, and so on. It is not meant for those people who want some kind of story, some kind of entertainment, music, dance. No, it is not for those people. I have started this series because I find that all the sutras of Avdhut Gita are on the eternal principles. And these are bound to these principles. And in yogic science, we always talk about our three principles. And these sutras conform well to the principles of eternal principles of yogic science. So today in this episode, I'll be starting with the first sutra. And firstly, as usual, I'll be reading the sutra in Hindi and in English too. And I'll try to explain the meaning of the sutra as per the principles of yogic science, which will be explained by our Reverend Sarmaji in Hindi too. So let me start with the reading of the first sutra of Avadhut Gita. The first sutra says in Hindi, Ishwar ke anugrah se kripa se nishche karke purusho ke madhya mein vipro ko mahan bhai se raksha karne wali adwait ki vasna utpann hoti hai. It means the person gets the desire of Advait, Advait Vasna, only due to the grace of God, not by his or her effort or, I mean, whatever he or she does, whatever a person does, it has nothing to do with his doing. So his doing is not going to work here. So this desire, divine desire of Advait is, it emerges due to the grace of God only. Okay, means it just occurs to somebody. It just happens to somebody. It is a, an occurrence. It is 
a simple spontaneous happening. It is not that you will work very hard. You are a very serious sadhak. You are working very, very hard. Okay, you do all kinds of things, jab, tap, mala, and so many other things. Pranayam, dhyan, dharna, samadhi. It has nothing to do with whatever you do. But with the grace of God, it happens spontaneously. Now in this sutra, one thing is very important. The divine desire of Advait. In the previous videos also, we have explained what Advait is. In yogic science, we all <clears throat> have realized that the first principle is the last principle. The first principle is appearing in the second principle also and in the third principle also. Means in Prakriti, the Jivatmas are nothing but the moon, the first principle. The Jivatma is the third principle. And the first principle, okay, which is the one energy of Prakriti and Paramatma, one energy, the movement of one energy. So Jiva and Brahma, okay, in the uh, language of Shastras or doctrines, okay, it is called Brahma. Okay, somebody says it Brahma, somebody says it's Paramatma, somebody says it's Mool, right? So in yogic science, the Mool is appearing as Jiva also and combination of Prakriti and Paramatma. Now, <clears throat> the moment and with the grace of God, if Jeev realizes its true nature, which is its mood, the first principle, then Jeev does not remain a Jeev. It realized its essential being, essential nature, which is the mood. This is what is being referred to as the divine desire of Advait, Advait Kivasna, the divine desire of Advait. So this desire emerges in the heart of a person only because of the grace of God or grace of Guru. In many places you will find in Sastras, in so many, you know, doctrines, you will find some stories in which the realized person says that it only happens with the grace of God or with the grace of Guru. In Sikhism also, the first sutra of the Sikhism uh, Granth scripture, which is Ekun Onkar Satnam. So in this mantra, there are many things. Ek Onkar Satnam, Kartapurak, Ayonis, Nirvair, so many words are used. Akal Murat. But the last sentence is Guru Prasadi. Means the realization of the one realization of the origin, which is Akal Murat, Nirvair, Ajoni, etc., etc. It is realized only by the grace of Guru, Guru Prasadi. So everywhere you will find this thing. And this sutra also states the same thing. The 
desire of advaita okay it emerges in the heart only due to the grace of god or the grace of guru that's all in this first sutra and in this way we'll be taking up other sutras also and we will try to elaborate it on the basis of the eternal principles of yogic science now over to sharma ji and he will be explaining the same sutra in hindi with his own experience sharma ji yogic science ke madhyam se agar hum uh, is sutra pe दत्तात्रेय महाराज जी के थोड़ा सा विचार करें तो इसमें ये चीज देखने को मिलती है कि जब हम कोई काम करते हैं तो वो सारे कार्य द्वैत में होते हैं और हमें गुरु की जो कृपा है या गुरु प्रसादी जो आपने बताया है या जो गुरु का ज्ञान है वो अनेक प्रकार के होते होंगे मगर गुरु का ज्ञान असलियत में तो ये ज्ञान है कि उसके करने से हमारे करने से द्वैत है और उसके करने से अद्वैत है तो ये जो ऐसा कोई गुरु ज्ञान देता है कि उसके करने से तो उसके करने पर अगर हम आ जाएं ऐसा कोई हमारे ऊपर कृपा हो जाए कि हमें ना कुछ करना पड़े उसके करने से हम करते रहें और हमें करने का भी ज्ञान ना हो उसके करने में हम बस होते रहें और कोई परिणाम कोई रिजल्ट इससे इसका कोई लेना देना नहीं बस उसमें कार्य करवाया जा रहा है और हो रहा है अगर ऐसा गुरु ज्ञान देता है और ऐसा रहता तो ये अद्वैत की ओर अद्वैत इसे कहेंगे तो ऐसा ही ऐसा मैंने इसलिए कहा है इस आधार पे कि योगिक साइंस में मैं पहले भी ये चीज बता चुका हूं कि जब स्वयं का ज्ञान और स्वयं का दर्शन होता है जिस वक्त चाहे पहली स्थिति में हो दूसरी स्थिति में तीसरी स्थिति तीन स्थिति है स्वयं के दर्शन की तो उस वक्त हमारी तरफ से किसी तरीके की कोई क्रिया प्रतिक्रिया नहीं होती उधर से उधर से आता है उधर से आता है इसलिए मैं कह रहा हूं कि हमारे करने से द्वैत है उधर के करने से अद्वैत है अगर ऐसा गुरु ज्ञान देता है तो इसे हम ये कहेंगे कि ये जो पहला सूत्र है ये इसकी ओर इशारा कर रहा है दत्तात्रेय महाराज का अवधूत गीता का पहला सूत्र कि उसके करने पर अगर हम सहमति अपनी दर्ज कर दें या वो हमारे ऊपर कृपा कर दे कि वो करे और हमसे करवा ले और हम कर डालें तो ऐसा अगर हो जाए तो बहुत अच्छी बात है तो मैंने अभी इस पर एक ही एक स्वयं के दर्शन पे बात करी है बाकी आगे अगर सूत्र में आएगा तो अन्य दर्शनों के जो दो है उस पर बात करेंगे इनके प्रकार भी हैं इनके सिद्धांत भी हैं तो इस पर बहुत गहन चर्चा आगे होएगी बात भी आएगी क्योंकि ये अवधूत गीता इसी ओर संकेत करेगी जहां तक मैंने पढ़ी नहीं है मगर मुझे ये पता चल गया है पहले सूत्र से कि अवधूत गीता इसी ओर संकेत करेगी कि इनके सिद्धांत और इनके प्रकारों को शायद मुझे बताना पड़ेगा जो योगिक साइंस के माध्यम से है और इनकी स्थिति बतानी पड़ेगी तो ये चीज जो है अभी तो ये अद्वैत की बात आई थी तो अद्वैत मैंने बताया कि अद्वैत जो है सामने से की आने वाली चीज को अगर हम करते हैं तो अद्वैत है और अगर हम करते हैं तो द्वैत में okay and uh, friends sharma what sharma ji is saying is whatever we do okay whatever effort we are exerting okay in order to realize god in order to realize our true nature okay that will not fructify right and it is possible only if 
he does it he means that divine energy okay so if it happens from the other side not from our side the same thing has been uh, mentioned in gita also bhagwan krishna also says that arjun do whatever you do but without having any desire for the fruit of your action so if you have no idea of what will happen out of whatever you are doing okay and you do your karmas like this without having uh, the idea of or without having the desire of the fruit of action right then the grace of god happens to that person okay and the reality is realized reality is not in dwait we live our life mostly in dwait i am different parmatma is different prakriti is different in our life everything is different in our day to day relationships everybody is different from me okay and that is why so much conflicts in the world in our life our life is full of conflict conflict why because we have not realized the truth we all live in you know the imagined world right and due to this so many conflicts in our life so if we realize the meaning of any one or two sutras also then we can get rid of all our conflicts of our life because then if we realize this then things will be happening but we'll be knowing deep down in our heart that it is being happening it is being taken place okay only due to him not due to us i am not doing okay but i am just a kind of uh, you know i am just a medium of something okay which is being done through us but it the energy is coming okay from the other side if this is realized okay only for a moment okay then it will remain as it is because it is truth it is not something it is not false it is truth so this truth has to be realized through these sutras so that's all okay for the first sutra in the next episode i'll be taking up one or two more sutras and we will discuss uh in these sutras according to the principles of yogic science thank you friends